Into their offense easy and do what they want to do best, get in transition. Game two underway. The Nets and the Raptors Nets in a 0-1 hole in the series. And a good start. And it's Temple struggled one of ten from three-point territory in game one. Nets couldn't stop Van Vliet in game one. Went for 30 points on 8 of 10 from beyond the arc. Lowry, ball fake. That's a three. We're tied up. Early on, but throughout the course of the game, in that possession alone, we saw how much switching was taking place. Oh, what a pass. Lavert. Aaron Allen diving towards the rim for the jam. Assertiveness by Karis Lavert to put the ball on the floor right out of the gates. That's exactly what you want to see. Lavert had 15 assists in the opener and a no. And we're tied at five. Karis Lavert once again starting at point guard, getting this invaluable experience in the bubble and here in the playoffs. Lavert off the dribble drive, the fade. That is. And on the dive, and a no be met up there by Jared Allen. That's defending the rim. Yeah, and that's what Jared Allen does. He is a terrific rim protector, but he's also got the versatility for Brooklyn. They were wired in game one, so this is really encouraging. As Jared Allen on the finger roll, slip pick and roll against the bird. Van Fleet coming up short. Now the downhill guard, Karis Levert, and a big guard at that. On the euro and going to the line looking for the three-point play. And took too long to get it to Marcus Sol. Turnover gives it back to Brooklyn. The surprising Nets up by a dozen as they are 8 of 11 from the field, 4 of 5 from beyond the arc overall. The lock, Jared Allen on the hammer. Great line drive it really well, and most guys instinctively overreact in terms of overhelping as Siakam not lethal at the rim. They got the switch. Laverto take the shot instead of going inside. Or Allen had Ananobi on his back. So that breaks a string of three straight turnovers. At least they got a, a shot up that time. And now Serge Ibaka into the game. Career year for him offensively. And coming out, he's still out there. And it's going to be the three-point attempt for Karis LeBert out of the break. And you can see already a change in strategy, right? They're switching that pick and roll now because they've got a much more mobile lineup than the Raptors. Late break, great at defense in terms of defensive efficiency. In the league, they create a lot of problems for you, and they can force you to play in the half court. Tyler Johnson tried to stay in front of Kyle Lowry. Norman Pollock spends his game to three-point effort, and an efficient one at that. Is it thrown away? It is by Jared Allen. It's another turnover in a four-point game. It was just 12, and the run continues. It's now third. almost an arrogance of belief in how they play the game. You got to credit this group. They are the defending champs. Levert trying to lose a really good defender in Siakam. Corner three. They needed it. Tara Temple. Four Temple. Ibaka, two of four in his triples in the opener of the series. Coming up well short there. Levert on the run before they can step defensively. Got what he wanted. Yeah, and that's an example. About five seconds. Separation, shot clock, and game clock. Brooklyn out shooting a 50% to 42%. What about that take? He'll get it now. Will it stay? Joe Harris will take it away. So she goes in there, along with Coors. Jared Allen's been out there for most of the game. Good drive and kick. Tyler Johnson. He got the triple. After the offer sheet that, that was matched by Miami. And then he was waived by Phoenix. Picked up, as you said, they needed warm bodies. Tyler Johnson on the run. And the former Fresno State Bulldog puts it in. Example of athleticism because he hung in the air forever to get to the left side and get that finish with the left hand. He's a different player the last couple of years as opposed to his first two years. Mid-range game. And they needed that basket there. So Chris Chioza out of Florida where he played four years of college ball. Now oh, the mismatch. Billy Powell again, all the way to the cup. And so it's been played a sink and fill, and then it creates those driving angles or three point opportunities on the kickout. The Norman Powell now 11 points off the bench. Green entry. Coors. And she goes with turnover. It really was not his fault. It was just a breakdown on the offensive execution. That's out of a timeout. Jared Allen, perfect entry.
precarious. Even for Jared Allen, he cuts harder with Levert on the floor because he's expecting to get that pass, and that's just an ability that Levert has that really nobody else on this current roster possesses. Friends. So a couple of free throws, we're all even at 45. But if you're the, the Nets, you still feel pretty good about where you are. You've done a much better job defensively than you did in game one, and offensively, you put yourself in a much better situation in terms of having a chance to win this game. 43 makes yesterday, moving the ball that quickly. You know, some teams have great players that can create offense. Others really got to rely on their system to create offense, and that's what you see off. Back to his OKC days. Joe Harris can finish. Wow. Well, the work rate was great for Brooklyn. <laughs> what a sequence, man. You got to feel for the Nets to work that hard and get that many opportunities. Clock. Three second difference. Shot clock, game clock. Yes. Harris Levert will direct the offense, sending Temple over to the sideline. And I'll tell you what, they've made the adjustment having the Raptors on Levert. Only 3 of 13 in this game thus far, even though he's done a good job. Good with his facility. Contract of Kwame Brown. Yeah. How weird was that, right? You get <laughs> traded for your brother. <laughs> but he ends up making, you know, Memphis is his home. Right. His kids there the whole nine. Kyle good Lowry. Use for Fred Van Fleet. And that was an example. I mean, you're just not going to get a better look than Toronto's offense created on that possession. Can Joe Harris get going? Because he had a... Inbounds. Had a great look in the corner. I think they caught the well, Raptors by surprise. Now carries Levert. Another wide open three. Garrett Temple gets it this time. It's an eight to nothing run for the Nets as Joe Harris will bring it in. So can they stay in the neighborhood? Into the fourth quarter is going to be the key, and the confidence will grow. Top shot. Falling down with one the six. Yeah. After coming off a career best 15 in the last game, and the game before that, he had 13 in the seeding games. Van Fleet again gets to the cup. Inside of seven left in an entertaining third. And it slowed down like playoff basketball, hasn't it? Yeah, intensity and physicality picking up. Van Fleet warming up. Both with high basketball IQs, both play a lot bigger than their size. And then they can also do it all in terms of playmaking, shooting. Norman Powell up to 12 points. Far away. A little bit strong by Karis LeVert, but still, he got what he wanted. Good look. Now Lowry trying to get past Joe Harris, and he will. Can't relax. He is the hardest working player I have ever been around. Jared Temple's got it. Siaka. Jared Allen changed that shot. Altered it completely. And that's a long player, Siaka. So now 18 for Garrett Temple, 12 here in the fourth. Inside out, hot hand, Garrett Temple, it continues. He's up. Screen and roll, Tyler Johnson spaces. Can't buy it on a good look in the corner. Now Siakam. Thomas' first look works. So 2017, a big guard at 6'5", 190, makes it a three-point game. Joe's on the probe. They share the basketball. Tyler Johnson's teardrop works. Shooting only 38.5%. The mid range game flat for Tyler Johnson. Five fouls for Luau Cabarone. It's going to be interesting because he is an offensive source coming off 26 for Brooklyn when they decide to bring him back in. Loose stuff. It almost got away. Norman Powell with Van Vliet. And a gamble out front. Sets it up. It'll be an easy one for Ibaka. You said from the bench. He charges. Two roots is out there. Also a member of the bench. They're not that deep as we can get into all the players they're missing. Like Kyrie Irving. Mid-range game of Norman Powell. Former is going against as good a defense as you're going to find in the NBA. And, and so it, it's just he's not getting enough possessions where he can just kind of exhale. He needs to give them a boost here off the bench. So Norman Powell with the make. He's up to 16 points on 7 of 13. Got great position on that inbounds. They let it come in towards the rim. Tyler Johnson fills 83-80 Brooklyn. They just, every time it looks like Toronto is there, they find a way. And that was just because they're similar kinds of players and 
for him, it's inspirational to see a guy that looks like you doing what he's done, and you say to yourself, I can do that, you know, and, and it helps your develop. Raptors look for their first lead of the second half. And they got it. The guy that took it to their first lead, and it didn't last long, 48-47, and only lasted 33 seconds in the first half. And thus far, every time Toronto has made that push, the Nets have been able to answer. Let's see if that can continue. Karras Levert took his time to could capitalize once again. They're already up plus 15 in points off the stakes. And that has kept them around. Van Vliet on the close by Levert, who I've got a feeling is going over to the sideline on the next whistle. On the switch, Ipaka. And the biggest hit three late last night. All three were better than 30 feet. Van Vliet, a little bit strong, but things are breaking now for Toronto, aren't they? Well, they're small. And they're spread out defensively. And, and also, I think there's some fatigue in this. And Lowry is presently constructed. I would be surprised to see Deion Waiters get an opportunity to provide an offensive spark. Well, they got the team to, searching right now. They got a setup man coming back. Joe Harris required. Huge, too. Anything they can do positively with the bird on the bench. Now, can they get some stops consistently? Kyle Lowry. Was coming off picks. Norman Powell, though, and he got away with one, didn't he? Used the off arm a little bit. Good move. But got away with it. You got to do a better job defensively of not allowing him to catch it that close to the basket. Norman Powell, 18 19 for Lowry, 24 for Van Fleet. So the guys who would expect their backcourt to catch him on the floater. Been 43% for Toronto, and that's their best so far. They have picked it up in the fourth. Garrett Temple on the flyby. And leaving it off. High percentage, Jaron Allen. Next rebound in the game. Good take. No touch. And after Allen went after it, Powell's got it. Norman Powell, one man wrecking crew, gets to the cup again. And three ball, Garrett Temple. Boy, that would have been interesting. It's tapped away. Van Vliet. Does Joe Harris had it coming down? He did. Van Vliet with the tip and then Lowry there to clean it up. That was a huge possession for both teams, really. Now, this could be huge if the Raptors are able to score. Van Vliet on the switch. Deep into the clock, Powell. And mm. I guess that's high percentage. Yeah. Outside. No, he didn't. And I tell you what, I, I got to give Jared Allen a lot of credit. He is just working his tail off. Just didn't have enough to get there. Joe Harris gets the triple in the corner to keep it to the NBA. 106 a game. Loose stuff picked up by Harris. Now Laverne. Luau Cabarro gets the triple. Three points. Kyle Lowry all over him. Now Temple can't save it. Turnover cost him Norman Powell, and that should do it. And see that to six. And that was Kyle Lowry right in the middle of it again defensively.